Minister for Tourism, Information, Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, and a member for Ancillary Canneries, Honorable Dominic Fede, meantime, told the House that Cabinet had taken a major decision that would redound to the benefit of St. Lucians as government introduces village tourism. Honorable Fede announced that lands at Ashabet Canneries is being set aside for local investment only. For the first time in the history of tourism development, there will be a dedicated tourism zone, Mr. Speaker, so that all St. Lucians can invest, can go to a beachfront property, buy a piece of land with infrastructure, water, electricity, roads, all of it that will be put in, Mr. Speaker. The lands have been vested with Invest St. Lucia, and I look forward, Mr. Speaker, to work with my colleague, the Minister of Investment, so that we can bring, Mr. Speaker, over 500 new St. Lucian businesses into the tourism fray, owning their villas, owning their cottages, owning their bed and breakfast, owning their restaurants, Mr. Speaker. We are putting up lands, Mr. Speaker, that the previous administration uh, have, would, have, would have made available, Mr. Speaker, to foreign investors only. But when we talk about village tourism, we're talking about people. When we talk about bringing tourism to this population, we are doing everything, Mr. Speaker. And so the legislation will go a long way to allow them, whether there is one bedroom, two bedroom, or six bedrooms, they will be able to benefit from concessions. Minister Fede added that over the years, local interest in the tourism sector had grown immensely. Mr. Speaker, statistics show that there are over 4,000 H plates, Mr. Speaker, mostly within the car rental and tour companies facilitating tourism to the tourism boom which characterized the pre-COVID years of our administration. Mr. Speaker, the National Conservation Authority, NCA, has issued unprecedented levels of licenses to small boat operators, beach chair vendors, craft vendors, and other self-employed persons, Mr. Speaker, within the tourism industry. Mr. Speaker, thanks to the hardworking staff at the Ministry of Tourism, there are more St. Lucians today that have received concessions under the Tourism Incentive Act than ever before in the history of this country, Mr. Speaker. And that is because of our vision, Mr. Speaker, of bringing the industry to the people of St. Lucia. Honorable Dominic Fady, as he contributed to the debate on the 2021-2022 budget.